Baseball News Club presents Can You Spot That Bach? Hi, my name is Chris. I'm going to need you to subscribe and please like the video. This one's pretty easy. You can't fake throw over the first. If you're going to make your move, you got to throw it on over. So that one's a pretty easy one. Let's take a quick look at it again. First baseman was even covering. Fake throw. So that's an easy one. Can you spot this one? Same thing. Same thing as before. You got to throw it on over. If you don't throw it on over, then it's a Bach. And here it is again. Didn't throw on over. First baseman wasn't even playing first. So those are easy. Here's another one from the Padres Hill. Didn't throw over. So that's a neat, those are easy box. Okay, those are the easy ones. Let's go a little bit more technical. Let me see if you could spot the box. Did you see it? Let's do it again in slow motion. He doesn't come to set. So when you bring the ball in the glove to rest, you've got to give it at least a second or two. He didn't do that. This one's pretty obvious here. Sometimes a pitcher will slip off the mound and not deliver. That happens actually pretty often. Now this one, you got to watch closely. Can you spot the bot? There it was. Let's watch it again from a different angle. Watch how he kind of jiggles. It looks like he was trying to shake off the catcher and then he just kind of moved his body a little bit. That one's kind of, kind of I don't know, kind of splitting hairs a little bit, but I get it. Here's another one. See if you can spot the bot. Did you see it? So he takes his right foot off the back rubber, moves it, then repositions himself. That one's kind of, you know, a lot of pitchers move on the mound, so I can see where they're calling a balk, but that's that one's kind of splitting hairs to me. This one, the pitcher knew it right away. Can you spot it? There it is. It's pretty obvious when you see it from that angle. Pitcher knew it. And then this one's a very technical one. Let's see if you can spot it. Did you see it? Watch it again. The rule is, is your leg can't cross over your other knee once it goes back and then forward. And this is something Andy Pettit got away with years ago. So in other words, his back leg went back over his knee and then it came back across. Here it is again in a different picture. Watch his right leg cross over his left leg and then come back down across. So they're saying technically you can't do that. You can't cross your leg over your other knee then back across you have to come home but again Andy Pettit got away with this for years so it's kind of a nitpicky kind of a balk so again watch his right leg cross his left and then head home so it comes up across he's heading home and then he drops it down at an angle and I kind of agree when you see it at that angle it's a little bit more obvious than this one's a little bit more harder watch his glove did you see that watch it again he comes to set then as he's delivering he's lifting his glove up to hide the ball they're saying that you can't do that you just got to take the ball out of the glove and pitch it so that one's kind of nitpicky but look at this one did you see it look again watch his waist just that little just that little jiggle right there was enough for a buck watch again it's very very hard to see just a little shift and that was a buck i know what you're saying some of these are just like you got to be kidding me and then one of the top buck guys Around is Johnny Cuto. Now this is the same thing as the left-handers. His his leg came home once and then he went back. So I, I get it, but it, you know that's how he pitches. Now this one's a little bit more harder. Can you spot the Bach on this one? You see it? Let's do it again in slow motion. Watch his left leg move before he takes his right foot off the rubber. It's already moving. He has even taken his right foot off the rubber. So that that is a Bach, but. Really good move, actually. Let's move on to a few more. Now, the next one is really hard because of the angle. Did you see it? You still should have saw it even if you're standing behind him. Watch his left arm when he comes to set. You can see it bounce. So he doesn't come to set. Kind of a bad angle, but you can see it a little bit with his left arm. He just never paused when he came to set. This one? Well, I'm just testing you on this one. He didn't deliver the ball. You got to pitch the ball. So he changed his mind mid-throw. No good. You see it? This one's really hard to see. That little movement. You see that? Just a little movement. See it? Just a little movement. It's surprising how they catch that stuff during the game. And then with Max, did you see it? Watch how he moves his glove and his body and then takes his foot off the rubber. Watch. Starts moving around, then takes his foot off the rubber. So even something as minor as that, they'll tag you. See if you can find this one. Did you see it? <laughs> that one's pretty obvious. If you're going to make a pitch delivery, you got to follow through. You can't stop mid-form and then do a pickoff move. Look at him. I'm going to step off the rubber and throw. It's actually a really good throw. That was a strike. 
All right, two more box and then we're all done. Let's see if you can spot it. See it? Just did it. So once you start your motion, you can't stop. So he started it, then he paused, then he went back into it. He's all, what? And he knew it. He was upset right away. He's like, damn it. And our final one, this one's pretty obvious. Once you make your motion to home, you got to go home. You can't just jerk your neck like that. I don't know. I think it's kind of a little nitpicky, but that was considered a balk. Thank you very much for watching Baseball News Club. Have a great day, and please subscribe.